first thing we'll look at now is the grip. So this, these two here now in the middle, here before and after, okay? The left hand one, we can see that little V is kind of going more up there, where this one's going more towards your middle part of your chest and chin, yeah? See there, so there's this little crease here that your thumb and forefinger create. This one here is a much better position. It's gonna give you more chance to square the club face up, okay? So that's the best thing in terms of the setup change there, adjusting that grip. We can't see grip pressure, but yeah. you can feel grip pressure. When you sort of put that finger on my thumb there, you can go, okay, that's actually quite loose. I'm not squeezing it tight. There's no need to squeeze the club tight. No. We're trying to control that club. The same way you hold your phone when you're texting, you just sit there and you, you have to squeeze that phone. Now try and text, you're like, <laughs> yeah. your phone, you think the thumb couldn't move, okay? Now, in terms of controlling this club, what you were doing before, as you went back, again, partly because the grip pressure was quite tight, as you get to the top of the back, it sort of collapses, and the club we can see here now going quite a long way, creating quite an agreed angle between your left wrist and the club shaft there, okay? So that's, for that to happen, your left wrist is what we call cupped, create this sort of like curvature in the left wrist, not this sort of flatter left wrist. Yeah. Compare that to this one. Where are you there? Yeah, we just want to level. <laughs> level with the ground's fine, okay? Yeah. If you can go a bit further because you rotate more, that's absolutely fine, but at least the angle in your left wrist now is flatter, whereas this one here now, has to be cut to get there now okay you could get to this one here now with a cut left wrist and just swing it shorter but yeah. generally speaking your left wrist was getting flattered based by the ball flight being a little bit straighter okay so that was one good thing in terms of the change in the back so now partly because of that change in the club face and the ball not going to be slicing so much to the right what you're going to find now as you come to the golf ball there's no need to try and hit it to the left you can strike the golf ball towards target and you can see now your foot lifting up up on its toe there and your body rotating compared to this one here now when you finish the swing trying to sort of swing it to the left a little bit to try to help it right foot hasn't moved at all and staying on your back foot again you'll see it from face on as you twist through yeah lovely finish not such a good finish <laughs> yeah that one's leaning back a lot okay i mean that you want to get yourself over that left foot and you're a long way from that there now that's, That's why brilliant. I'm yeah. The pressure on the back foot. Exactly. Just wasn't moving. Well, exactly. Yeah. But the thing is, like I said, whether it was conscious or not, you said you weren't deliberately trying to do it. So very often these things are kind of your unconscious brain taking over. The same way you say about if you try and fall and just let yourself go, you almost instinctively react with your feet. I think it's when the, when the club goes through quicker. Yeah. Then it just means that there's more momentum, so I automatically turn my back foot. Exactly. Yeah. And I think if, if you're moving in this direction now towards target, it means you're not trying to hit it non over here you slice yeah. the golf ball like that so then you say, okay i'll just swing it to the left i think yeah. any pull shot i think the cricket shot off your back foot is going to go left okay so most people's mind when they sort of set to a golf ball they go well i'm slicing off to the right i need to start the ball for the left rather than cure the slice they just incorporate that slice into their game and go right well the ball's going to curve left to right a lot i'll yeah. just start it for the left now to do that they'll do one of a number of things either aim left move to their right foot or their back foot in the goal so they can try and pull it left or try and twist the arms or do a number of things to try and fix this slice rather than actually control and fix the thing in the first place as in the better grip and the club face yeah so don't fix faults with other faults because yeah okay three or four wrongs can make a right but it's going to be one in ten will be good yeah, yeah? and the other nine out of ten that aren't good are going to be a bit disastrous okay big slices big hooks duffs and tops okay the good thing is as we said about your angles from the sort of assessment we did a bit last week okay Halfway back there, online with a golf ball. Coming back down, online with a golf ball. There's a lot of good angles there you're creating in the golf swing, okay? Which helps the strike to be less toppy, which is good, okay? Able to strike the golf ball now cleanly in terms of the golf ball. In time, that right foot will move a bit more. This right hip will move a little bit more and come around the corner. But generally speaking, there is a good progression there in terms of what we're seeing with this swing here. The left hand tube in the better ones and the right hand tube in the other the before, shall we say. Yeah. I mean, you've got a big lean back. You can see on that right hand side of the foot not moving, okay? The club was collapsing a lot more. The ball was being topped, whereas this one is a bit more shift with the golf ball. Shift in there. The club's in a better position at the top of the back, so you're not kind of cupping that wrist. You're not falling backwards, so, yeah. So stronger grip in terms of position to yeah. so the little V. And again, when you're at home, you can sort of just practice this. Ooh, yeah. Take a picture of your grip or use a mirror just sort of see is that crease that your thumb and forefinger are making here is that going towards my trail shoulder yeah. if it goes a little bit too much yeah not the end of the world at the moment now obviously way too far but somewhere in that 
area up here that we're looking for, okay? If it's too much in the middle part of your body, when it comes back to the goal pool, that club face will be aiming to the right, which will give you that spin. And yeah. then instinctively, you'll try and start it left by filling on this back foot and just pulling across your body. So, okay. Okay, makes sense? Yeah. Good man, very good, right. 